Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for July 2022 for the collective as well as each individual life path number. So before we get into the reading, I wanted to let you know that I am now offering the coaching with numerology as a 60 minute phone session for us customers only at this time, MP3 recorded sessions are still an option and still available for those outside of the U S or for anyone who prefers that option. Also, I am now offering personal month ahead numerology forecasts that include the PDF copy of the month in question, including each day of that month and my recorded guidance for the month per the numerology. So if that is of interest to you, head on over to my website to book some time with me. The link is in the description box below. Okay, and as always, this forecast for July is a general reading. So again, please book some time with me for a personal in-depth look at your own numerology. Okay, so July is a 13 for energy. This for me is really similar to sort of like Plutonian energy in a lot of ways. Death, metaphorical, of course, um, transformation, rebirth energy. This is an energy that creates the compelling feeling for change and not only change, but creation, creating something beautiful from something desolate or difficult. This is an energy of say the lotus flower, something that takes time, perseverance and desire to thrive and finally blooming from the murky, muddy depths. This is using ingenuity and life force creatively to build a solid foundation of truth, honesty, and integrity from a space of passion and desire. So this isn't the easiest of energies to work with only because It will require time, patience, and potential setbacks. However, the end result is the potential of some of the most beautiful, flourishing, lovely lotus flowers you've ever seen. So you could also think of the metaphor of the pearl. So the pearl is created inside of the mollusk or the the shell, right? Is it the crab that does that? Anyway, I should know this, right? Um, But it turns the sediment and the sand into something solid and unique and beautiful that brings joy and beauty to the lives of others. That is 13-4 energy. That is the potentiality of 13-4 energy. So as a cycle, we have this energy for July taking place within a six universal year. So areas of emphasis now for where this could show up could be around home and family life, love, such as how we love, how we show up to love, um, how we love ourselves and or how we are open, how open we are to receiving love, right? So a lot could be coming around a Uh, come in around love at this time. So this could bring change and transformation and rebirth to relationships. And also through our individual contributions to our greater community. Now, 13.4 is also very um, Venusian and divine feminine energy. So we may see things surface in a very transformative way around the actual earth, around nature, uh, receptivity and stillness, more nurturing energy surfacing or emphasis on global relationships in general. That could all come into focus now. So this is an invitation to sink into the softer side of life while also standing within your own truth and feminine strength, regardless of gender. This is a strong energy of creation stemming from the space of love, equality, and equity for all. If there is something you have wanted to create that could become a legacy for you or others, this is a very supportive energy for this. So follow your heart and your intuition. That's very 13, four energy even when it becomes challenging. And this energy will eventually reward you for your perseverance and your efforts. 
If you need a reminder of the possibilities, read more about the lotus flower and let that be your mantra this month. It is very rare that anything happens quickly under four energy, but typically things created or initiated under this energy have the very strong possibility of not only standing the test of time, but also bringing much success. So what that success looks like will be different for each person because each person's idea of success varies. So this month ushers in the supportive energy for building and creating something incredibly beautiful from something seemingly ugly or from nothing. So as always, it's what we do with the energy that makes all of the difference. So you are the magician of your own life. What will you do with your magic? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at each individual life path number now. Life path number three. So I pulled an animal spirit card for you all for July and you got Pegasus spirit. And I love this for you all. So uh, you all really just embody creativity and that creative life force anyway is just part of your sort of makeup with this, your life path as three. But what's interesting is, so You also, you know, just like with the collective, you will feel you have the potential to to feel the 13-4 energy, but you also have these undertones of one energy coming through this month for you. And so what I love about Pegasus energy coming through is Pegasus just brings about this energy of uh, mystical, you know, um, sort of fantasy, um, having a muse, something that like ignites your passion and, and, um, excitement and just creative forces. You know what I mean? Like thinking outside the box and playing outside the box and not worrying about what people think and basically blazing a trail that looks so different than what people would expect. Right. Because the Pegasus is this, of course, mythical creature. But when we think about Pegasus, this horse with wings and a unicorn, uh, horn, right? (laughs) We just think it just like allows our imagination to run wild. And so I think that this month for you all is going to be an opportunity to take all of that creative life force that you just naturally have flowing through you. Couple that with this like undertone of the one energy that again is like begging of you to take initiative follow your inspiration, follow your passion. It's really fire energy and do something that will just completely, um, surprise people. You know what I mean? Like it's not about fitting a mold this month at all for you all. It's very much about playing in the more mystical, the more imaginative and seeing what you can come up with. So with Pegasus, allow Pegasus to be your muse. When you start to try to conform or confine your big, bold ideas. Think of Pegasus, allow Pegasus to be your muse and think outside the box, play in the world, in the realm of fantasy, play into the more mystical esoteric areas, um, and allow your imagination to run wild and see what you create from that space. There's always some, there's already, um, or there's also something here around like sacred energy. So it's very possible that, you will feel more connected psychically or intuitively, especially with all the 13, four energy that we have sort of coursing through this month. Um, so just pay attention to that. If you feel drawn to, again, the more mystical side of things, the more intuitive side of yourself, really pay attention to that and really honor that. There's also com- something coming in here with Pegasus around fame, right? Like notoriety, um, being world no- world renowned, you know what I'm saying? And so not saying that that's what you're going to see this month, but I do think that there's an opportunity here for some form of recognition uh, with Pegasus coming in the mix. And it could be recognition for something, again, that is forward thinking, that is something that hasn't been com- you know done before or created before and it's something that you have created or or an idea comes into play and you're being recognized for that idea right and so lots of beautiful very mystical energies coming in for you with pegasus energy this month and so don't shy away from it you know it, even if it seems weird or unconventional who cares play with it right like don't don't, um, curtail or, um, 
restrict your imagination this month or any time, but especially this month. Now, there's also some things coming in. Again, this is very, the undertones here of that one energy is a lot of fire energy. So again, big initiations, big ideas, big new starts. Focus your energy this month. Really follow your passion and just begin. Sometimes when we have these big ideas, these big um, inspirations come in, especially if they're outside of our comfort zone, especially if they're outside of the box, we can sort of feel a little overwhelmed. We can feel like, oh, you know, how am I going to make this happen? How is it? How is it going to happen? And the key is always to just begin. Start. (laughs) Start the process. Baby steps are still steps. So just begin. There's also something coming in here for you all around independence, autonomy, confidence, and follow through, uh, and also ingenuity. So really, you know, this is, this is probably going to be a month for you all where it's not so much the collaborative, more social side of things. It might be something where those big ideas come in for you. And this is a planning stage. This is something where you really need to um, take those big risks, even if it means you have to stand alone while doing so. Um, because the people who need to come in will come in right when they're ne- when they're meant to. So don't force that and don't let that curtail you from getting started, right? That your, your mantra this month, I think is going to be to begin, start, start the process and remind yourself that baby steps are steps. So Again, if you find this month to be more antisocial or again, more in your thoughts, playing in your own imagination, really stepping into your own autonomy, um, building your confidence, um, making sure that you're doing that follow through, whatever the case may be, it does feel like a more independent month for you all. And I know typically with three energy, it's a more social energy. So you may have to clear your calendar to make that time for self, to make that time for the self-reflection, for the introspection, for again, playing in this other realm that really doesn't need to include anybody right now, right? Because once you get started on this idea, whatever this is, then you can bring the people in. But right now this month feels more like it's about you and really figuring out how you want to build upon and create whatever this is. Um, Let's see, this is also going to be a time again for taking big risks. So I would even say, you know, if it comes in and it feels really good for you and if, you know, it ignites your passion, do it, go for it. I mean, you know, obviously I'm not, you know, (laughs) I'm not a doctor, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a whatever. So I'm not telling you what to do, but I am saying if there's something that ignites your passion that you feel called to do that speaks to you, Again, follow your intuition, follow that inner guidance and take a risk, especially if you're somebody who typically doesn't take a risk because outside of the comfort zone in taking a risk is where the growth comes. It's where the big ideas can come to fruition. A lot of times we're capped out at our comfort zone, right? So like whatever it is that we're trying to build can only get so big if it's within our comfort zone, if we're not taking a risk. And so I do feel like this month for you all, there may be something here about taking a risk. And I would say, go for it, but you know, around relationships, around career, around ideas, inspirations, whatever, take a risk and play outside of your comfort zone. Don't just like step out there in fear, but play outside of your comfort zone. Just allow whatever to happen, happen and go with it. Go with the flow. This is such beautiful energy for that. Also embrace the trial and error, be the inventor. Now allow yourself to be the inventor and to be an inventor means to have a lot of trial and error, right? And it's through that trial and error that you will figure out and decipher what it is that works and what it is that doesn't really work or doesn't complement the journey of whatever it is that you're trying to do. So definitely embrace the trial and trial and error and don't see the errors or the detours as um, reflection upon yourself. It's simply to show you which direction to move into, right? If something isn't working, then you won't want to walk down that path, right? You'll want to move into the, the path that is working. And that is how you reach your goals. That is how you focus your energy and create whatever it is you're trying to create. So be the inventor this month, play in your imagination. And, you know, again, don't self-police so much that you... 
um, sort of put that fire out before it has a time, a chance to really get going, right? So I hope this was helpful threes. This could be a very big month for you all creatively, um, independently, just hitting your goals, seeing your goals come to fruition. This could be a very, very powerful month for threes. And I hope it is. (laughs) Take care, everyone. Bye for now.